Praise be Jesus Christ. At Pentecost, the Church celebrates her birthday when the promise of the Father is fulfilled and the Holy Spirit comes down upon the Apostles who begin after that to really go forth into the world to renew the face of the earth. And the Holy Spirit moves the Apostles and enlivens them with His gifts. One of the things I feel we probably don't do well enough in the Church is to ask intentionally and consciously for the gifts of the Holy Spirit every day. You know, we live in the world which is under the power of the evil one, a world that's full of so much confusion and murkiness, uh, a world in which it's so hard to see which side is up or which side is down, a world where there is just so much fake news, uh, so much stuff that can really get us off track. You know, sometimes I think spiritually we all feel that we don't want to bother God with these small things in our lives that we can kind of do it on our own, at least to a certain point. And I don't want to bother God with this thing or with that thing. You know, if that actually pains the heart of God when we refuse to go to Him for help. Uh, you know, God in His mercy gives us His Holy Spirit to help move us, to help see the way forward, uh, to give us His strength and His gifts to live our lives with so that He can animate us. I came across this really beautiful prayer for the gifts of the Holy Spirit and just want you to pray along with me, uh, asking God intentionally in your own heart to help open up your heart, the doors of your heart, so that He can give you these gifts of His Holy Spirit. And so let us pray. Holy Spirit, I ask you for the gift of wisdom to better know you and your divine perfections, for the gift of understanding to clearly discern the spirit of the mysteries of the holy faith for the gift of counsel that I may live according to the principles of this faith, for the gift of knowledge that I may look for counsel in you and that I may always find it in you, for the gift of fortitude that no fear or earthly preoccupations would ever separate me from you, for the gift of piety that I may always serve your majesty with a filial love, for the gift of the fear of the Lord that I may dread sin which offends you, O my God. Amen. And God bless you.